um, I thought, well, is there such a thing as alien life? And I got a response, yes. I said, could I have the colours, please? Doing this colour uh, research, what I'd like to do is to colour code you and give you a copy of that colour code and for me to keep a copy and then to see if I can keep in mind-to-mind -mind contact with you or at least track you over the maps. It's going to be remote viewing over the world maps to try and track your movements. To do that, I need to code you. Out. He held his hand out like that and I went over with this very instrument I'm holding like this and he went, Phew. he said, you burnt me. Now, that's never ever happened before with anybody else. I created a code very much like this. It all would start pink and white and yellow, if I remember. This was a similar code. I got about half a dozen people to witness me holding his code over the map. I then got my star charts out and I found him up there. And I measured his journey and it took 23 days to get from here to the Orion system. So that's where he went, to the Orion system. Under so the old bowling green, we found what looked like a Delta wing craft, about 90 foot long and 53 odd feet width at the back of the Delta wings. And we've actually managed to flag that out and record it before they turned it into a children's playground. And that we felt was about 60 feet and down. And we're looking at the remnants here to the same item. 56 feet in at the bottom and about 90 feet long, Delta wing. Are we dealing with a craft well, this is the code for that, which we've had ever since 2003. We can identify certain types of craft on certain codes, but this one is what we call a general code, so it works very nicely. It's something that's not human, so cross very, very quickly. Peter is finding then from this collection of witnesses and codes is that it looks like we have all the remnants of a craft below. 115 is 126495, black, grey, green, orange, red and yellow. In the centre you've got something responding to element 115. Roughly round here, yeah. So here's the footpath here. I had mapped out that it had gone into the ground to about 12 feet in the motor down there and the field here and this is the area here that we're standing on now and I extracted all these things mica, unearthly metals, palladium, platinum, teflon, uranium, iridium, gold and body parts. There's a, a 25 foot disc with three crew in it but they may have been robotic because these things do such maneuvers that no organic creature could possibly survive it probably. But the thing is this, we then went one step further. We then got a large map and we actually got the shape of this bunker out with the girders and a ramp down here where the lorry would have backed down, unloaded everything and stored it. And we're also picking up some sort of a, a trap out here in case somebody were to break in and take it out. So a possible trap door in there from the top. Broke down, eight metres going down, two foot at the top, down to five foot, a 15 foot across. You know, it, it's enough to store a considerable amount of treasure in there, basically. When we discovered that all these colours had number values, uh, we discovered that that was in actual fact a code for 42. And 42 <laughs> is? Is the meaning of life and everything in it at Douglas Adams. The thing is that it picks up all these burial sites around the world. I wrote to a leading museum in London in 2004 about this and they were very interested and they invited myself, Alan and a gentleman called Roger and all three of us were invited up and we were tested they said we're very interested in how the ancients might have communicated so he said we're going to blind test you so she laid a map on the counter she said gold's being found in Cornwall and then we all correctly found it on the beach <laughs> the next one was uh, oil and gas has been discovered in Dorset have you all got the right position third reason and this is a real reason I feel they were asking she said that she lived near a former Cold War missile silo for the defence of London and it was now deactivated. Could we identify on the map where it is? We picked it up on orange, also a uranium coat. Peter Vincent is going to tell us an extraordinary story about a pauper's grave that we believe contains the remains of E.T. The two code is responding, so we were remote sensing a response to these graves over in this corner of the crematorium. 
This would be the paupers area at that time. The information we had was these graves were uh, very strange to look at. The rods are responding to this code, which is exactly the same code that we get elsewhere. Meaning, well, it's a breathing eating. sign, and this is the code. You see,